Hey golfers, Drew Mahold with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here at our Minnetonka Tour Van location. Thomas, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm all right. We've got a couple of iron models to compare today. Uh, Titleist 718 AP3 versus the Titleist T200. Uh, they're brand new from the T-Series. Um, what do you think we're going to find out today? You know, I'm really excited to test the two of them because I've, you know, the AP3 line was a great distance player's iron for sure. Mm -hmm. Eager to see what uh, you find both on TrackMan and also kind of your uh, opinions on feel, sound, because uh, both of these irons I know pack a pretty powerful punch, so let's get after it. Let's do it. All right, Thomas, we got uh, AP3 versus T200. What are we starting with today? Let's start with the AP3. Let's hit like four shots with each one. We'll kind of maybe come back and hit the other one again. Okay. Just kind of compare some numbers and see, see if there's any difference between these two clubs. Perfect. All right. Felt pretty solid. Looked pretty darn good. Yep, that was pretty good. That felt like I hit that a little more solid as well. Uh, any initial impressions looking at Looking at a dress, uh, maybe feel uh, from the AP3 so far. Yes, yeah, so I say the biggest thing I noticed with the AP3, it doesn't feel like it's forged, right? Kind of coming off, coming off the okay. face. Uh, in the past, I have played the AP2 in the past. Looks very similar to the AP2 looking down at it, but just doesn't quite feel as mm -hmm. soft off the face. Not sure. quite, maybe quite not as buttery. Feels solid though. Is it kind of a firmer feel? Yes. Yep. That's what you'll get probably without the, the forge construction. Yeah. Feels like it kind of wants to jump off the face a little bit here. Um, but not doesn't feel quite as soft. All right, those four there were pretty solid. Four solid strikes? Four solid strikes to start with the AP3. Let's jump over and hit the new T200. I'm excited about this. I haven't had the chance to try it yet or even look at it. Get you switched over. And uh, I know you're playing the same shaft for uh, each model here. You're yep. The same shaft. yep. I'm just that? switching them out. So Project X. LZ 6.5 is okay. what, what, I, what I play. That's uh, in your gamer, right? That's in my gamer, okay. yep. yep. So that way it will test the same club head with the same shaft, sure. same line goal. So make sure we're spot okay. on with those numbers, see if there's any differences. All right, so T200. I'm excited about this. Yep. Definitely noticeable feel, just a little bit softer. Yeah. That was it, real solid, actually. Let's just switch that. Yep. That just went just a little bit further. Yeah, that felt consi yeah, considerably it softer. It just it felt also like it sounded just, a little bit yeah, more it wasn't muted. like yeah, it wasn't it was loud. muted yeah. Yeah, that was a little bit heavy. Man. All right, good miss. The result is pretty gotta, similar. Gotta well. love that forgiveness right there. <laughs> it looks pretty similar looking down at it, but I'd say the feel for sure just feels a little softer off the face. Yeah, 
Yeah, I know. Just just watching you hit, I can definitely tell the difference in sound. Again, you're the one hitting the shots, and feel seems to be different as well. Yeah. But in terms it, of appearance, it, at least looking down at it, you don't see anything. Honestly, anything looking big. down at it, it doesn't look too different from this angle. Um, I did notice while I was kind of putting it, putting the, on the club head on, notice it maybe looked just a tad thicker down here on the sole okay. compared to like AP3. Um, but feel-wise, mm -hmm. for me, obviously, I like that forged feel. Right. Felt a lot better as opposed to the AP3 was just kind of clickier off the face. You said it sure. kind of sounded just a little bit louder. Yeah. Uh, a little clickier. This just feels a little bit more muted and softer feel. That one wasn't hit quite as solid. Well, you're going to get a little bit more forgiveness out of uh, you know, yeah. AP3 and T200 versus you know, AP2 and T100. Yeah. And clearly that's showing up uh, on the screen there. Yeah, just a slightly smaller dispersion mm -hmm. to start with. Let's jump back at AP3 here a couple more times. So far, the big takeaway is feel. And I know um, Titleist in their construction of the T200s used what they are calling max impact technology, which is they added a, a polymer core kind of beneath the face, or right behind the face, which is, I think they worked with the, their golf ball R&D, with kind of a similar material inside the golf balls to kind of generate that feel. So hit AP3 a couple more times. Yeah, it feels a lot Harsher feel, that's for sure. Harsher. Yep, it's just loud and, I don't know, that one I didn't quite catch, but that just, it just feels, yeah. You'd feel more vibrations in your exactly, hand when correct. you make contact, right? Yep, yep. All right. There we go, that was a little more solid. Oh yeah, that's probably... That's about as good as I've got right there. Perhaps your best one out of yeah. um, well, like any of the... I hit two there so that far. were maybe not quite as, as solid in a row and mm -hmm. definitely forced myself to yeah. make sure that the I mean, it's worth was. noting too, I know yeah. from uh, you know, seeing you hit these, or um, hit the different clubs for four, that your seven iron is about 178 to 180 carry yep. usually. Yep, spot um, on, so kind of 178. And you're playing, you know, a player's muscle back right now. But yep. you're gaining, you know, by hitting a player's distance iron, you're gaining a few yards of distance here with both models. Yep. Um, and that's, I mean, what anybody would get out of playing a player's distance versus, like, a thin player's iron. Yep, exactly. And then loft on... True, yeah. These are going to be, I think, AP3 was 31 degrees. Yes. So my current iron, I think, is 33, so there's... There's some, you know, there's eight yards kind of well. right, right there. You'd probably mm -hmm. expect three to four yards, mm -hmm. depending on loft. I believe the T200 is 30, 30 degrees. Yeah. So there yeah. is one degree of loft difference in the standard yep. specs. T200 is one degree uh, stronger. Okay. Um, and so you might see a tiny bit of difference in, in distance yep. there, but. We'll see if we notice that when I come back and hit the T200 here at the end as well. Let's hit one more with the AP3. It was pulled a little bit. All right. Yeah, pulls usually go just a little bit further. So takeaways at this point from hitting the AP3, kind of, how would you kind of break it down as a player's distance iron? Um, AP3, what I have noticed in the past in fittings in the past has it's been a great club forgiveness wise for those players that are maybe trying to reduce spin a little bit. It's been a great club. Okay. Get the ball up in the air, reduce a little spin for those players that do spin a little bit more. So if like, someone cuts the ball, the ball's gonna spin a little bit. So I've noticed sure. that a lot in the last couple of years. It's been a great club for as an option. But it, it's not forged, so that's kind of a little yeah. difference in the feel wise compared to your AP two, which you know, what was forged. Okay. felt 
solid. Well, that's your deepest shot of the day. Yeah, that one I, I struck pretty well. Bull speed over 130, that definitely helps a lot. That was really good. Yeah, just come back to that, just slight more muted mm -hmm. sound yeah, off you the can face. Definitely you tell. can definitely notice it, yeah. Pretty good. Nice. Those three there in a row are pretty solid. There you go. That one. Yeah, bombed. that thing, yeah. <laughs> that was a flyer lie. <laughs> yeah, that was that one definitely went. Carry distance wasn't that much more. I think that one just had a little less spin on it. That's sure. why it's showing on there that it did go a little oh, yeah, further got, than everything uh, we else. We got total distance on here, don't we? Yeah, we got total distance up there. One more. That was just a little miss hit there. Yeah, that did sound a little bit different. Yeah, that was a little heavy. Yeah, as you can see, you got pretty similar kind of patterns yeah. with, with, with the circles there. Um, I'm definitely loving the six shots that I hit here, with yellow ones that were just going a little bit further. These ones, I'm only human. I'm not going to hit perfect every single time. Cut these ones a little heavy. So that one, these, yeah. these ones are a little bit shorter overall. Um, same thing with the AP3 as well. Okay, Drew, so I got the chance to hit, you know, eight shots with each club here. There were a couple of misses in there as well. So I'm just going to eliminate those two with each club mm -hmm. that were the miss hits. You'll notice these are the ones that go on a little bit shorter than everyone yeah. else. You can so now the with, smash factor a little bit too on these. Yeah. It's kind of where you're noticing the big big difference. Yeah, so now we've got our best six shots that we hit with each club up here and let's just kind of see if anything kind of stands out to us at all. So what's interesting is the reason why I hit four shots originally and then hit, came back mm -hmm. and hit the AP3, sorry, hit AP3 four shots, then came back and hit the T200 four shots and then switched, yeah. switched back is because I wanted to see if there was any differences in regards to my swing speed, that's probably the best way to kind of yeah. say, hey, I, I was maybe a little warmed up earlier or mm -hmm. maybe I was swinging a little, right. getting a little tired towards the end or something like that. But actually what's interesting is I was swinging the T200 quite a bit faster. So no, it's two mile an hour difference. Um, so that wasn't, that just, ha maybe I just felt a little more confident standing over the, mm -hmm. over the club. Maybe it was the fact that maybe the club was just kind of a little bit, you know, a little bit different, so sure. I maybe swung out a little bit harder. I don't know why. I didn't intentionally try and yeah. swing harder at all, but we know it is two mile an hour club speed. Um, we know it's the ball speed number, 129 versus 128, but you notice my efficiency with the AP3 was actually slightly higher than the T200. But if we go over here to the left hand side, you'll notice, you know, the dispersion pattern was kind of a little bit tighter there with sure. the, the yellow circle. Now that's total distance. I want to switch this to carry distance. Remember I talked about this one shot that was up here that was going a little further? Yeah. Now it shows it just kind of a little bit tighter in regards to, you know, to numbers. So um, if we look at the carry distance, I was carrying 187 with the T200. I was carrying it 183, 184 with the AP3. So we talked about the mm -hmm. one degree of difference in loft yeah. between the two of them. It's pretty much spot on. So they're mm -hmm. going about the same, dif same distance, ex almost the exact same distance there. Um, the only thing I did notice is the spin rate with the T200 was, you know, 300 RPMs less. Could also be related to the loft. One, right. one degree of loft is going to also, sure. less loft is going to cause that ball to spin a little bit. But you will notice I hit the ball higher with the T200 than I hit with the AP3. So even though I had a little less spin, I still had plenty of stopping mm -hmm. power with, with, the eight, with the T200 as well. Um, Pretty similar numbers 
across the board with, with all of them. I'd say dispersion pattern and also direction wise. You, know, you can see the yellow circle was basically spit right up and down, right through, right. The, right through the middle, considered, you know, with the AP3, maybe a little larger left to right dispersion. Um, so I'd, for me, probably yeah. looking down at T200 maybe just felt just sure. more, com more comfortable. Um, but we did notice the dispersion with the T200 was really, really good. And you're thinking these are the type of numbers we should get given just that even that one degree difference in loft is you're going to gain, you know, three to four yards of carry. It, it, it's the pretty much spot on, about three to four yards per degree of club mm -hmm. is about the, 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 the ratio. Um, so it's basically spot on. If we were going to have the bulb at 31 degrees of loft, probably going to go about the same distance. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest takeaway was the feel with the yeah. T200 today for me. I loved it. It was really, really good. So I think it's a great option for players out there that's looking to pick up a little more distance, gave maybe a little more kind of game improvement iron, but you know, it's designed for players, maybe you're, you're a better player that wants to pick up distance, but not sacrifice that um, softer feel. All right, Thomas, you got to hit a few shots with both models, and uh, your hunch about the differences in feel uh, looks like it was correct. Yeah, definitely correct. When, you know, when I was hitting a few different sh shots with each one, Definitely noticed with the T200, it was kind of that more muted sound off the face, a little softer off the face. Mm -hmm. You know, a little clickier with the, with the AP3 when, you know, hit it, hit it really, really solid off the face. You could just notice the sound off the face. Mm -hmm. So, it, also, it did feel a little better. Um, just felt great when I hit it right out of the right. screws. Yeah, and clearly from the performance, uh, both irons, you know, distance, um, spin, are very similar. Uh, the, the one degree difference in loft kind of made some subtle differences yep. on um, the numbers on track, man. But overall, very similar performance. I think you're just the big takeaway here is the feel. Feel and dispersion was also great with the mm -hmm. T200 as well. It was a little tighter, a little straighter as well. Mm -hmm. So you can't complain about that. Absolutely. Well, both of these iron models are great players distance options for golfers out there. Um, if you're interested in the 718 AP3 or the T200, I would suggest uh, visiting secondswing.com or stopping into one of our stores and speaking with a master club fitter such as Thomas. Thanks again today uh, for joining us, Thomas. Thanks, Drew.